yeah, I'd like to make movies in Europe, especially if somebody would give me some money to make <laughs> them, you know. But uh, it, it really depends. I mean, for, for, you know, part of this thing of making movies regionally is I have to really feel like I know about the place. And so I don't feel like I can just wander in anywhere without help or time and figure out what's going on there enough to feel comfortable making a, a, a movie there. Um, I'm, I'm not somebody who feels like, you know, if a tree falls in the woods and it doesn't hit an American, it didn't fall. You know, and that's the problem with most American movies made overseas is, is you've got to get some American star who's hot at the moment to be there and then, and then they feel like they have a story, you know. I, um, you were saying last night about writing the challenge for John Frankenheimer. Um, mm -hmm. And the the specific oh yeah I, that yeah that arose I, for you there yeah I was writing a, 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 a modern day samurai movie for John Frankenheimer and you know first of all he would call me from the top of the hotel in Tokyo and say I just gave I just cast this part and this guy speaks no English at all so give all his lines to another character and you'd have to do that kind of shuffling and then the final thing he called down and said okay well here's the deal. Toshiro Mufuni speaks English, but like a lot of Japanese people, he really can't say his L's and R's, and he's very self-conscious about it. So can you go through his dialogue and take out all the L's and R's? <laughs> now that's a good you know, exercise. Um, generally, you know, I just say to the actors at the get-go, look, this is written the way that it's written for a reason. You know, um, if there's something that doesn't sound right to you, say it out loud, tell me now before we, we get to the set and uh, we'll work on it, but it's there for a reason. Occasionally, you know, I've done two movies in Spanish. Um, I'll say to an actor, uh, okay, this is, I've worked on this Spanish and I've had people who speak it as a first language work on it, but um, if there's something, you know, I may need you to Puerto Ricanize this Spanish a little bit more, and if that's their background, they can do that a little bit. What if you're doing that thing that we accept in movies that people are not actually speaking um, English? but we're gonna hear them speaking English. They're actually speaking Spanish. Well, one thing there, you know, is, is to learn a little bit about the language that they're supposed, the, the way the syntax of their language works and work that into it. Um, if I were a fly on the wall and I was gonna report what was important about this conversation, which might be five pages now, um, what would I get rid of so that I could tell it in one page or even in four lines? Um, and then you get to do a little bit more in the editing room later um, to, to shape it. But a lot of it, I think the most important thing is, is really listening, you know, and really then analyzing what you're hearing. You know, people talk different ways, you know, during the same day. You know, you may talk differently at work than you do in the pub and differently when you're with your mother than when you're at home with your wife and kids. Um, you know, and you have to, to, to start to hear those things. So a lot of what I end up doing, and I think it helped me that I was an actor, is once a, a dialogue scene starts, I just let it run. 